Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a little laptop called the OneMix Yoga. And as you can see, it ships with Windows 10 software. It's got a touchscreen display, it supports pen input, and it's got an 8.4 inch 2560 by 1600 pixel display, an Intel Core M3 processor, and uh, this particular model has 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. It's a pretty nice little device, but I've also been testing it with different operating systems with sort of mixed results. I've tried a couple different versions of Ubuntu, Linux Mint, um, Chromium OS, which technically is not a Linux distribution, and some work better than others. And the one that I found that actually works best so far is Ubuntu 18.04.2 LTS. And so I'm gonna show you that here running from a flash drive. So first thing I'm gonna do is reboot the system so that we can change the boot priority. So I'm gonna hit delete as it's booting. Just sort of keep hitting that delete boot or delete button until we get to the setup utility or the BIOS or UEFI settings. And from here, while the screen's sideways, I've kind of gotten used to looking sideways and seeing what I'm doing. And I can use the arrow keys to move back and forth and up and down. And I'm gonna change the boot priority and tell it to boot from this flash drive. Save and exit, and now still sideways is asking if I want to try Ubuntu without installing, and I would like that. I would like that very much. So this uh, this little computer, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, it's a convertible tablet style device with a 360 degree hinge. It's um, got USB type C and type A ports, micro SD card reader, micro HDMI, and a headset jack. It doesn't have room for a full-size touchpad, so instead it has this little optical touch sensor, as well as the touchscreen and pen input. It's got a backlit keyboard, and overall it's a pretty nice little uh, device that sells for about $760 as of the time that I'm shooting this video in late June 2019. It's got competition from other mini laptops, uh, from companies including GPD and Chewy, and uh, it sort of stands out because of the mix of functions that it offers, I think. so. What I like about uh, using this version of Ubuntu on it is it is one of the only ones that I've tried that supports touch input. Now, when running from USB, touch can be a little hit or miss. Uh, sometimes I boot into this and the touch is not supported, and sometimes it is. Um, but that's part of the reason I'm actually using a USB flash drive with a Type-C port right now. Uh, you may have noticed that the screen is upside down. There's a pretty easy fix for that. I'm going to fire up a terminal, type X-R-A-N-D-R hyphen O left, and now the screen is right side up. And in addition to supporting touch input, it supports pen input, sort of. The orientation here is completely off. You'll notice, I think it thinks it's in landscape mode. So if you're looking at the cursor, as I drag left and right, the cursor goes up and down. So uh, it's probably something that if people know a little bit more than I do about how these things work, maybe you could calibrate it or figure out some other way to adjust it. But right now it's a little bit wonky, but it does detect a pen, which is uh, the only operating system I've tried so far that does detect pen input. Um, again, touch works. We can go ahead and connect to a Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in to my network. Uh, screen scaling works pretty well out of the box, but I'll show you that if you don't like it at 200% scaling like it is right now, you could switch to 100% and have much tinier text and images, or you can switch back to 200%. And you can see that touch works pretty well, pretty precisely here, so I'm able to navigate menus that way. We can surf the web. Now, I find that Ubuntu is a little sort of tricky to do this with. You don't have the sort of, you can't scroll up and down the way you can on mobile devices here, but you can go to the edge and sort of swipe up and down here. Uh, we could also go to YouTube. And find a video so that I can demonstrate audio and video seem to work just fine. Uh, screen brightness controls are working as are volume controls. And let's play a video. Okay, it's playing two videos. It doesn't usually do that, but here we go. It's a little quiet. 
quiet. So audio works, video works. Uh, for the most part, it seems just fine. Let's see what happens if we switch it into tablet mode. Screen goes blank for a moment. Touch is still working. It's maybe not quite as fast as I would like. Let's see if, oh, at this point, the cursor seems to be going, there's a little bit of lag, but it's going pretty much where I expect it to go. So that's definitely a bonus as well. So we could use it in portrait mode. It's just not recognizing when it's in landscape mode. Now the other thing is to see, yes, this, uh, this is also what happened when I tried Ubuntu 1904, which is it doesn't like to correctly display the um, screen orientation when you switch back from portrait to landscape. And terminal, looks render. And it seems to be having issues detecting the keyboard input here. All right, so it was definitely not a perfect experience, it would appear. Um, Try this. Interestingly, it brings up an on-screen keyboard when I touch here, but I can't seem to get it to come up here. And at this point, it's just not recognizing it. So. On the one hand, uh, things are working a little bit better out of the box here on Ubuntu 18.04.2 than they have on anything else. On the other hand, I occasionally still seem to run into quirks. So everything's a little upside down, makes navigating difficult, but I should be able to maneuver the cursor to reboot the system. Maybe. I sort of have to think upside down. There we go. So that is a look at Ubuntu 19.04.2. Uh, I've also tried the same operating system on the GPD P2 Max. Actually, this is 18.04.2, not 19.04. Ubuntu 18.04.2. Uh, I've tried the same operating system on the GPD. Uh, P2 Max, and the touchscreen does not work on that version. Um, it's important when you're using this on the One Mix 3 Yoga to make sure that you change the boot order back because it doesn't automatically change. And if you try rebooting, it'll actually try to go into Windows Recovery and run into problems. So you have to tell it to go back to the Windows Boot Manager and now we should be able to reboot into Windows. So again, more advanced users may be able to find ways to get the screen orientation to work properly, make sure the keyboard works when you flip back and forth between screen orientations. But the overall out-of-the-box experience is better with Ubuntu 18.04.2 than with any other Linux-based operating system that I've tried so far. And if you are running it from a flash drive, you can you know, try it without, uh, without overwriting the Windows operating system, which we've now gotten back to. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and that was just a quick look at Ubuntu 18.04.2 running on the One Mix 3 Yoga. Uh, I've also tried several operating systems and had mixed results with those. That's the best one I found so far, but as we demonstrated, it is not perfect. 